<laughs> I'm excited to be here in Kanitra today to mark the opening of a mural which depicts an historical event, the Anfa Conference, which occurred 80 years ago today, 80 years ago yesterday. And it depicts a, a meeting between very important leaders of that time. The future King of Morocco, then Sultan Mohammed V, President Roosevelt of the United States, and Prime Minister Churchill of the United Kingdom. They were aided also, and it, the person who's shown standing next to them is a Polish spy by the name of Slokowski, Rigor as he was known. And it was through his, his information that we were able to plan many of the important events around World War II. In November, we marked the 80th anniversary of the landings in North Africa of Operation Torch, when tens of thousands of Allied soldiers landed across North Africa, including 30,000 here in Morocco. And by the end of 1942, there were 100,000 American troops in Morocco. They developed excellent relations with Moroccans. They developed people-to-people -people ties, which are still with us today. And of course, uh, as we look at that period, we remember all the sacrifices that the soldiers and their families made, and we remember the wise and steady resolve of the leaders we had at that time that gave us a much better world that we enjoy today. And that cooperation is still with us as the United States and Morocco and our Polish and British friends all work towards a world of greater peace, prosperity and security. Thank you. Aujourd'hui, nous inaugurons le grand fresque mural ici à Kenitra en commémoration du 40e anniversaire de l'opération Torche dans lequel un grand impact avait le renseignement polonais militaire avec Mieczysław Słowikowski, nom de guerre Rigor. Nous voyons sur ce grand fresque mural la grande personnalité de Rigor au moment où il est décoré par le général américain de Legion of Merit. Nous voyons l'opération Torche avec le, le site où les Américains, les troupes américaines et britanniques ont débarqué, donc à Safi, à Fedala, aujourd'hui Mehamedia, et à Port Lyoté, donc Kenitra, ici. Et nous voyons une photo très très connue, j'espère, au Maroc, de la conférence d'Anfa, où le sultan Mohamed Ben Youssef, le prochain roi du Maroc, Mohamed V, a reçu le président Roosevelt et le premier euh, ministre Churchill qui sont venus à Casablanca pour en discuter pour la première fois de, 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 de futur sort de la Deuxième Guerre mondiale et de la victoire inconditionnelle sur l'Allemagne nazie. On the right side of the mural, you see the Polish officer, Polish intelligence officer Mieczysław Sowikowski. He was, a, he was, and on the on the on the left side of the mural, you see the the Sultan Mohammed V, future King of uh, Morocco, Prime Minister Churchill, and President Roosevelt sitting on the couch during the Alpha Conference. There would be no Alpha, Alpha Conference in Casablanca without the success of Operation Torch. And Operation Torch, success of Operation Torch was based on the intelligence gathered by the Polish intelligence network in the North Africa and all these information reports were sent to London and Washington and allowed, allowed them to, to plan the successful landing operation in the North Africa.